Uh, so a lot of you know that Miklod Ganj is famous for its museums, temples, waterfalls, lakes, as well as cafes and also Tibetan settlements. We are going to explore all of it. We are going to go to one of the famous cafes in Miklod. I know a lot of you have heard about Shiva Cafe, about Miklod Ganj. So we are going to explore those places as well. our paradise for all the backpackers and trekkers out there so we did also a trek to Shiva cafe uh, it is one of the easiest treks out there in Himachal Pradesh and the views are lovely once you reach your destination and I think I felt really energized and refreshed after taking the trek so uh, if you guys are visiting Himachal and if you guys are in McLeod then please do not forget to visit Shiva cafe because it is just amazing the food there is lovely and you know it is famous for some other reasons as well those you know you know and you cannot just miss it who hasn't heard of the cult Shiva cafe in McLeod Ganj to be honest the hippie culture of the small hamlet called McLeod Ganj has made Shiva cafe synonymous to the place a visit to the hills can never be complete without at least a session in the lap of Shiva Having heard so much about this cafe, we decided to try it out. It is situated above the Bhak Sunag waterfalls and the trek was extremely steep and arduous. Absolutely do not recommend for kids, older people or those with low stamina or leg issues because I almost died while reaching to this place. However, after the trek, I felt really energized and refreshed and after reaching Shiva cafe, I felt all the more adventurous and thrilled the place has a very eclectic and different vibe to it music was nice and overall look and feel was alluring it has several wall paintings of shiva and few other indian gods there are even paintings on the rocks since its unique location the supplies at this place are delivered by horses and donkeys it is perhaps the most popular cafe in the travel circuit of McLeod Ganj and Dharamshala and it is a one-way ticket to a dreamland. Of course, it is a massive flex on social media and moreover the experience consumes you completely. While returning from Shiva Cafe and on our way to the downhill, we met this amazing artist who was kind enough to draw our cartoonish portraits. I think I had the most fun here.
Being brought up in a convent, I have always fascinated churches. And here comes the St. John in the Wilderness Church, which is a Protestant church. And it was dedicated to John the Baptist. It was built in 1852 and is located near Dharamshala on the way to McLeod Ganj. Set amidst the outer forest and built in neo gothic architecture the church is known for its belgian stained glass windows donated by lady elgin wife of lord elgin the churchyard of this place is the final resting place of lord elgin who served as governor general of the province of canada oversaw the creation of responsible government in canada and later while in china ordered the complete destruction of the old summer palace he became governor general and viceroy of india in 1861 during the british raj though he soon died at dharamshala in 20th november 1863 and was buried here now for the horror fanatics and for the haunted enthusiasts as soon as we stepped in the premises of st john church we were blown away by its surreal beauty the beauty was at once haunting and eerie at the same time the beauty of the place could not subdue the aura of melancholia that seemed to pervade the surroundings The rays of the sun pierced the thick cover of the tall deodar trees and fell on the numerous graves that lay on either side of the pathway that led to the church building. Each grave seemed to cajole us to listen to its story, a story of a mother, a father, a son, a daughter, a wife, and a husband. Our morbid curiosity got aroused as soon as we witnessed the graveyard. Death is something that is certain for everyone. However, it always holds holds a strange fascination for the living some invisible force drew us towards the graves and we went to have a look at them leaving the path that led towards the stone building that housed the church not kidding guys we really really felt something is there in the graveyard We found the graves greying with age. The words on many of the epitaphs were barely visible. Moss and weeds covered some of the graves. We could make out that the dead had been in eternal rest here for more than a century. The church of St John in the Wilderness Dharamshala may not have the grandeur of the churches of Goa or that of the St Lawrence Church in Karnataka. However, it has a strange timeless beauty that merges harmonious stay with its setting amidst the beautiful dholadhar ranges the feeling of melancholy still wraps around you as you make your way out of the church for girls and for women who are basically solo travelers or if you are traveling in a group of girls or group of women then please do not hesitate to visit mcleod ganj because it is one of the safest places uh, in india uh, for your girls to you know go ahead and have a girls trip uh, because of the culture over here the cult- because of the tibetan culture it is a very peaceful and a very pious place to visit it is also a very very safe for girls you can actually loiter around uh, during the nights as well but uh, yeah it is uh, definitely Uh, mandatory to take a guide with you, but it is one of the safest places in Himachal Pradesh in India. Absolutely, so please go ahead and girls visit this place with your girlfriends. Stay tuned to my channel, guys. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Subscription is very important, guys. It is free, of course, and it will not take much of your time to click on that subscription button. So please go ahead, subscribe to my channel, guys, and take care of yourselves and have a lovely and a great day ahead. Bye bye.